Hey Libra, welcome to your December 2022 love reading with Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a collective love reading to see what's going on between you and your person, the person you are connecting with currently, the person in your energy, and the person on your mind. <laughs> if you are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for your support of me. It helps this new channel grow. It helps me to connect to as many of you as possible. So please share this video resonates. Please share this video if you can. I would appreciate you guys. Comment, like, subscribe, anything. If you are here for the first time, welcome. Perhaps Spirit has messages for you. Cross watchers, you are welcome and the roles may be reversed. You may flip the messages as needed if necessary. Never force a reading, guys. If this is your reading, the messages will be fluid. Never force a reading. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull your energy, your person's current energy, your cards, your challenges at the bottom of the deck. Please stay for the entire reading. I will also be pulling oracle messages and advice cards, okay? Also, if this reading resonates, be sure to subscribe to my channel. In the future, I will be making an announcement. I will be offering personal one-to-one -one readings and extended readings, okay? I may be new to the YouTube tower community, but I have over a decade of tower reading experience. Spirit, please show me Libra. Let's get into it, guys. I hope you all are doing well. Show me Libra, please. Spirit, please show me the messages that we have for Libra. Show me the messages for Libra. These cards are sticking. I feel some resistance. Perhaps someone in this connection is a little stubborn. Show me Libra's current energy, please. Your current energy is the Five of Swords. Spirit, please show me Libra's person's current energy. Your person's energy is the Four of Cups. What is going on, Libra? Okay, let's... Four of Cups. There's a lot of in and out in this connection. Okay, I can see that already. Um, your energy is the five of swords. I get the energy of someone causing issues in a relationship. Someone, um, deceptive energy, some, some sneakiness, self-sabotaging behavior. That's what I'm getting. I'm not sure if I'm picking up your feelings for your person's energy or your own behavior. We're going to dive deeper into the messages and find out. Okay, um, in the past, I got the page of swords reverse and the nine of pentacles reverse. Um, somebody in this connection is, was all talk. They didn't live up to anything that they were saying, any plans, um, for this connection. It was just all talk. The energy is scattered. With the nine of pentacles reverse, I'm getting someone who's financially unstable in the past. They're, they rely on their partner for um, dependence, to help them out. There's a lack of independence. Um, this person is overindulging, okay? Because there's money issues there in the past, all right? But this person's all talk. They, they probably talk about what they're gonna offer you, what they're gonna give you. Um, what they're about, but they never, sh it doesn't add up because they have money problems. Okay. So it's deceptive. It's coming off as fake, as a fraud. In the current position, I got the seven of swords and the four swords reverse. A lot of sword energy. I'm sorry, my cards. I'm just saying them. Um, a lot of sword energy you could be connecting with, um, or somebody who has air in their chart with the sword energy or Gemini Libra or another, another Libra or Aquarius, or this could be your energy. But what I'm getting is in the current position is that there was some deception going on, okay? With the Seven of Swords. Again, I'm getting a confirmation that something deceptive is going on. Um, something, someone's being manipulated in this, in this situation. And that someone's trying to recover in this connection as well. Because they've been betrayed. They're being betrayed. They're going through a betrayal and they're like, you know, I'm trying to find my mental, my, find my mental strength to heal from this. 
Um, I'm getting from you, perhaps. You know, you know your person is choosing happiness with this Four of Cups, okay? This person is trying to choose happiness. They're yearning for happiness. They're contemplating their next move. They're reevaluating the relationship. They're yearning to be happy again. I, I don't want to say they're choosing happiness. They're contemplating choosing happiness. Um, there's a lot of regret in this connection from your person. And um, I, I feel like this Four of Swords reverse may be their energy. I'll find out as we go deeper. But there's some deceptive energy here. Um, and somebody did ghost this connection. I'm getting Libra, unfortunately, that I feel like you walked away from this connection because of something deceptive. On oh, Spirit, why is this Seven of Swords here, please? Yep. It could be you or your person, okay? Um, somebody might have abandoned you and they regret it with this Four of Cups in the current position. Your person might regret walking away. So you may be trying to heal from the deception of your person. The messages are, come, are, are downloading. They're getting clearer, okay? Um, I get with this King of Cups reverse that there's very, there's very emotional, immature, masculine energy. Somebody who's very repressed with their feelings, very closed off. Um, again, I'm getting deceptiveness. So this person is very controlling, okay? But with this Wheel of Fortune, I see like there's some good karma. There's something else coming in with this Wheel of Fortune. Spirit, why is this Wheel of Fortune here for Libra? <coughs> Spirit is trying to bring in something. <coughs> I'm sorry. Spirit is trying to bring in someone for you, such as a soulmate. Okay? They're trying to give you some good karma, something to look forward to. Because with this King of Wands reverse and the Seven of Wands reverse, that's the stubbornness that I'm feeling. The wand energy is the fire energy. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, the, the universe is trying to gift you with something better because of the person that you are with. This person with the King of Wands reverse is very arrogant. Okay, you cannot wash, you cannot rely on this person. They're very wishy washy, very in and out, unreliable. Um, but you get caught up with this person with the Seven of Wands reverse. It's like you don't stand up for yourself in this connection, Libra. It's just that you see that this person is somebody you can't count on, but they you're vulnerable, so you allow this person to, to manipulate you. Manipulate your vulnerability to get back in with you, okay? And that's what's happened. So you decide, you know, you I get failure to defend yourself. So you surrender to the connection. But this person is not giving of themselves. They're very controlling. Their their emotions are very repressed. Um, so there's this there's this will of fortune here because the the universe is trying to to gift you someone new, okay? Wow. And you don't even you don't even see this, but you are trying to heal, okay? You're trying to recover from the damage this person done, even though you haven't left this person. <laughs> so in the future, I got the temperaments in the Eight of Cups, temperament is Sagittarius energy, maybe connecting with a Sagittarius. It could be any sign, take it resonates. But I do see with the temperaments, there's some balance board here back in, um, and with the Eight of Cups, someone abandons this relationship. So the energy that I'm getting, let's see, let me just clarify this Eight of Cups. Why is this here? Wow. To clarify the Eight of Cups, I got the King of Wands and the Magician Reverse, okay? You realize your person is manipulative, okay? And you leave, you leave. You're searching for happiness and you're going to get it. There's a harmonious relationship ahead of you. And that's what the Wheel of Fortune is. Your karma is going to change and it's King of Wands. This person is is going to be in control, confident, passionate, you know, and very bold. You know, they, I get the energy of them saying something to you. They're going to confront you. Like, they're going to step to you. That's what I'm getting. This person is very fearless and very confident, okay? But you, again, you recognize that you're being deceived. And, you know, you already know this. But you get, you know, you work up the strength to say, I you know, I don't deserve this. I need to go. So you're going to be the one leaving this time. You're not going to wait around for this person to abandon you. 
okay? So your challenge is at the bottom of the deck. Before we even go there, Spirit, please tell me what is Libra's person's current feelings towards them? What is Libra's person's current feelings? I got the Ace of Cups reverse, the Five of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles reverse. Again, um, conflict, okay? There's a lot of arguing, a lot of conflict with your person. It's like you're trying to struggle to get along, this constant fighting. If you're not fighting, it's tension, it's petty, it's chaotic. Um, with the Ace of Cups reverse, your person's feelings are blocked off and repressed, okay? So they're not showing you what their emotions are. Um, what I do get on a positive note from your, your person is they're trying to focus on recovering from financial hardship with this Five of Pentacles reverse, okay? So that's good for them. They're, try, they're improving their finances and they're trying to make a positive change where it comes to money. But other than that, they're blocked off emotionally, okay? It's unrequited love with them, okay? So it's like you showing up for this person emotionally and they're not giving it back. So yeah, it's just constant fighting. That's, that's where the energy is. They're not in a position where they're able to give anything that you desire. Spirit, please show me Libra's um, feelings for their person. Please show me Libra's current feelings. I got the Three of Swords reversed, the Ace of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. You are working hard, okay? You are focusing on, you know, what you're trying to manifest in your life. That is your focus. Um, with the Ace of Swords, your your mind is clear. You've got mental clarity. You see the truth about your person. You're going through some sort of breakthrough and you realize that. That's why your, your current energy is a five of swords because you recognize this person is very deceptive. I need to walk away from this person, okay? Um, you feel defeated in this connection, but your mind is clear. So your feelings is of the three of swords reverse. You want to overcome this. This grief, this sadness, you're releasing the pain. You are recovering. You are, you're determined to recover from this heartache and, and remove yourself from this person, okay? So that's why in the near future, you're going to be walking away. And why? Because you're walking towards balance and peace and tranquility. There's a harmonious relationship, harmonious relationship ahead for you. And this is really beautiful. So your challenges, Libra, is the hermit and the world. That's Virgo energy and Capricorn energy. Um... Your challenge is to, to turn inward, pull into your inner strength. You know, you're going to do a lot of self-reflection, a lot of soul searching, a lot of contemplating about what your next move is, okay? And not much of a challenge. The world is here as your challenge. And your challenge is to close out this cycle, to complete this cycle in this relationship, close it out, and go towards fulfillment and harmony and wholeness. Okay, to achieve the kind of relationship that you want. In other words, you're going to close out this cycle. You're going to work and build on your strength. You're going to continue to work on that. You're going to close out this cycle because you're going towards your happiness, your love. And again, the universe is gifting you someone. So this is so super beautiful. Spirit, we're going to pull some more cards. Show me advice cards for Libra, please. And three cards. Advice for Libra, please. I got the hangman. I got the seven of cups. And I got the three of cups. Okay, right now, I get the energy from you where there's a lot of different options. And again, you're in your head trying to figure out what to do next. But you realize with your person, it's like an empty victory. You feel defeated. You, you can't trust them, so you, you, you're contemplating walking away. You feel like staying with them at this point is self-sabotaging. And your person, they have a lot of regret. Again, they feel disconnected from you. And they're contemplating what to do next their self, all right? But again, they're focused on money and they realize there's a lot of problems in this relationship. I'm not available emotionally. I can't deal. So with you, the advice that I have for you um, is the hangman, the seven of cups, and the three of cups. Again, there's a lot of different options out here. So you're feeling uncertain. You're kind of waiting for like a sign to move. Like you feel stuck. I'm getting very contemplative energy. And you feel kind of like, which what should I do? But you know what you should do. You do have a lot of options. There's a decision that needs to be made. Spirit's saying, stop procrastinating and make this decision. Because you already know what you want with this Three of Cups. You know it. You know you want happiness. Okay? You want your happiness. So Spirit is asking you to get out, casually date, socialize. You know, any, you know 
foster up friendships and connections, attend celebrations, family reunions, anything that's going to get you around people. Spirit wants you to get out of the stagnant energy and get out there because there's, the universe is sending you someone, but you can't sit on your ass. You have to you have to prepare yourself for this person that's coming into you. And by doing that is by getting out of the stagnant energy and start moving again. Go towards your happiness, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some messages what your person is feeling but not saying to you. This person... <laughs> that is unavailable. Spirit, please show me the messages from Libra's person, please. Show me the messages, please, from Libra's person. The person on your mind currently. I hid who I really am from you. And I said it from the beginning, this person was very deceptive. They were all talk. They talked a good game talked like they had a lot of money, like they had a lot of shit going on for themselves. And it turns out they had all these money problems and they were just manipulative. Okay. I cannot, st think I cannot stop thinking about you. You're on this person's mind though. Okay. You're on this person's mind. I knew exactly what I was doing. See, I said it was manipulation, so it was premeditated. This person set out to be who they were, the liar and the deceptive person that they were, okay? We need to let each other go, okay? So if you needed any clarity, there's your clarity, Libra. <laughs> this person is like, they can't, they're not telling you this. They don't have the guts to tell you this, but if they could, they would tell you we need to let each other go. So that is your confirmation. What I'm going to do before we close out this read, I'm going to pull a couple more, a couple more decks. I'm going to pull some cards from the Romance Angel deck. Spirit, show me the messages that you have for Libra, please. Time is fluid. Anytime you press play on this video is the time for you to receive these messages. Oh, I'm telling you, that is clear as day. You deserve better. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. This person said they hide who they are to you. Okay? We need to let each other go. Someone's wearing a fake mask. The cards don't lie, guys. Okay? Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. Okay? So I feel like your spiritual path is a lot stronger than your person's. Your person's is closed off emotionally. I imagine that they're closed off spiritually as well. You're open and receptive, and you guys are going in two different directions, okay? Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. You're going to have to flirt. You're going to... Uh, what I'm telling you is you get back into you. You get out there. You set yourself up for what the universe is bringing to you. The universe is bringing you love. It's going to come meet you. But just make yourself receptive to it, okay? Wedding. The situation involves marriage. This is the thing. You're, this situation, you're being guided towards someone. Let me see. Just clarify wedding, please. Clar clarify this card, please. Spirits, two cards. The emperor is Aries energy. And you have the Queen of Wands reverse, okay? For some of you, this is a very, very specific message, okay? You may be dealing with someone that's head over heart, okay? Stable, though. This is a stable person, though. I feel like this is a new person. I feel like there's a message here that your person that you're trying to let go of may, this is very specific, it's not going to resonate with everyone, but your person, for some of you, is still legally married to someone else, okay? This is this Queen of Wands reverse, and this person is very jealous, um, they're very spiteful, and they're very vengeful because of what, what your person did to them. And this person is trying to cause trouble, was trying to cause trouble for you guys, but it didn't even matter because your person 
was the one causing all the problems. This was the person that was manipulating you, pretending to be something that they're not. They have a whole different side to them. So they're legally married to some, excuse me, they're legally married to somebody. I'm sorry, guys. And I feel like for some of you, you don't even know that, that this person is legally married, okay? We got cards that say this person is like they hid who they was to you. This person that's all talk and has all these issues probably may, may in fact be living a double life, okay? And this is why wedding is here. And this situation involves marriage. Be very clear and concise about that, okay? Meanwhile, the cards all want, also want you to know, don't focus on that too much. Get out of the situation. There's an emperor coming your way. This person is very stable, dependable, reliable, and protective. Very protective, okay? So this person is the, the energy that's, that's coming towards you that the universe is bringing in for you. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm getting the two of wands reversed and the eight of wands reversed. Fire energy again. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, I feel like there's a fear of change. Okay. Again, your indecisiveness is coming up. That's keeping you back a little bit. There's slowness and the spirit is warning you not to miss this opportunity from moving too slow because of delays, okay? With this eight of wands reverse. Don't move too slow. Move forward out of this situation, okay? So um, I'm gonna pull the advice cards that I have. I just pulled advice. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to pull some love oracle messages for you before we close out this read. Do not wish to miss this opportunity waiting on this person because you're going to leave this person. I see that within a month's time, maybe it may be within a month's time in the near future. You're going to be walking away from this person. OK, so if this is your, your story. Come back to this page. Let me know what happened in a month, because with this eight of cups, I feel like you're going to be leaving. All right. You're going to be leaving this person. But you know what? And spirit saying, don't wait too long because Everything is divinely orchestrated. You have someone coming towards you, okay? This is an emperor that's coming towards you. But, you know, move ahead, but don't move too slow. And don't let fear keep you from moving on. Keep moving in the direction that you're going now, all right? But I'm sorry to say for some of you, this person that you're with is living a double life. And they're, they're married to someone else. It's crazy. So anyway, let's pull these cards and close this out, please. Right. What messages do you have for Libra? What messages do you have for Libra? These cards are hard to, to shuffle because <laughs> of the shape. Okay. Show me messages for Libra. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life. This is what I was just talking about, um, Libra. <laughs> and create unne unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. This is just what I was talking about when I told you, you know, you have to keep moving. If you resist change, you resist the natural flow of life. You're going to create the stress because you're not, you're, you're creating the stress because you're not leaving. That's why you have this two of wands reverse. It's like, no, you need to leave. You, re you recognize that this is an empty offer. You recognize feeling defeated. You want to walk away. That's why you're in five of sports energy. Okay. So yes. So you have to move. There's some beautiful surprises ahead for you, Libra. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. Okay. Go out, be around your friends, have a good time. This is not necessarily romantic, but just be around people that you love. They will help you heal through this. And then this will put you in the path for this person that's coming in for you as a gift from the universe. Manifesting miracles. Oh my God. I, the, the cards don't lie. This is crazy, Libra. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. This is exactly what I've been saying for the whole reading. You have to trust in the divine that you're going in the right direction. You are manifesting miracles. This is beautiful. I love this for you, Libra. Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Okay? So when this love comes in, embrace this love. You two are going to fit perfectly like a puzzle. This, is, this, is, this was meant for you. This is a gift from the universe, this person that's coming in for you. Oh, so beautiful. I love how this is ending. So spirit, I mean, sorry guys, 
Um, th those are the messages that I have for you, Libra. I'm just, I want to say thank you, Spirit, for these messages for Libra. But those are the messages that I have for you. If this reading resonated, please let me know by liking, sharing, commenting, or subscribing. I wish you continued healing and all the love and light in the world, Libra. And I will see you again in the next one. Bye.